So we're out here at Master's Dog Farm Freeport and it's all about their wild meat festival. Today they're going to be cooking up a store model. Let me tell you, they have roast duck, roast ground dog, roast kiskidi, iguanas, a guti. That is a protected species. Put back down your finger for that one. We have alligator, we have spider, we have jep. We we go air. Uh, today they're going to be a different day. Sit back, relax, and watch as we enjoy some food. You should be here, but we're here. So we're going to tell you how it was, okay? I hope the food got in a balawi, otherwise. So we're here with Uncle Chen. Uncle Chen, you want to tell us what, 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 what happened in here? What meat is this in the pot right now? Deer yeah, meat. Yeah. 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 How long does it take to prepare deer yeah, meat? Bullet, you got to help me on that one. Hey, bullet. Bullet, come. This is bullet, not illegal thing, Gary. Calm down. Right, 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 right. Calm down. Right. <laughs> this is hunting bullets, sir. Yeah. Pellet, right. So, like, what's the process to, to, to get the DM to the stage? To get the DM to the stage, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, 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 it's taking about an hour or so to, to properly clean it. Mm -hmm. Then you see. What's the process of cleaning it? Well, well when, you, when you come from the forest, you, you more or less get a little clean, either skin or either with, with, the, the, um, um, with the skin on it. Roast right. it. Right. Either you have a roast. With the skin on the meat, or oh, either the skin did you? Nice. So when you bring that now, you, you go end up at a roast it back. When you don't roast it, you cut it up. Nice. And you clean it out, wash mm -hmm. it out with a little flour and thing. Right. And then you put it aside. Then you get a little side with celery, pimento, you press seasoning. And you season them up. Season them up. And let them do it to soak for a little hour or two. In just normal water? No, in just, in, in just normal seasoning. Oh, you're leaving it to soak in the seasoning? Yeah, and then... Yeah, there's enough to like pressure cook it, like to get the, the meat soft? It buys some time when you're ready. If you're in the forest, you don't really pressure cook meat in it. You don't have a pressure cook yeah, in it. So, it's a curry in the forest too. It's just... You know what I mean? When you're going uh, in the forest and you're in the camp, you're yeah, like carrying things to cook. A big bag only walking in there, boy. Stove yeah, you're in the camp inside there. So, you have everything. Oh, fire yeah, side. You don't cook on stove up there. Right. So, fire side. So, what we're doing is like a bush cook. Yeah. Nice. And how long are we going to take for, for, for this to cook it? About an hour and a half again. So, everything is about a three hours? Process. Cook. To everything. get it there now is a, is, a, is a longer process, of course. Yeah. You ever run down there before? That's all. That's all. Show me what you're showing down there now. Go on. Uncle Chen, I can turn it back? Yeah. No. You knock it now? Yeah. I don't know. Right. Hey, it didn't move in or not good? Take that first. Like this? Oh! Okay. So it's like you're rowing a boat? Yeah. Just like this. So it's, it's oh, no, yeah. uh, water so move rough with it. A good thing. So it's yeah. like lift and the pot and set properly on. Oh, so it's like yeah. lift yeah, and take it down. Nice. And this is a double. You see, this is not only to make roti. That's right. You could think what well, I make some mistake. You could think and cook up a little deer with it. Right. You see, Chef Chevelle, right here. <laughs> no more we do this. We do it so. Oh yeah, then you knock your hand. Yeah. Like. Right. See? Oh. Oh, you can get like it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So we buy another pot here. It, it, it kind of looks the same as that pot. Um, what bullet? Yeah. Bullet, what, what's happening here? That is booty. Booty. Why, why it cut up so small as that? How come on it is in the deer with the deer the breast? Yeah, you chicken breast? Yeah. No, really, when they cut it up, you wouldn't find the deer breast. Offering? Yeah, you wouldn't get the deer breast. Oh, yeah. But this, now, when they're done, you, you wash them up and you, you, you season them up with your nice fresh seasoning and thing. Mm. And they marinate it for a little half an hour or what. And then you chunk them how you want. Either curry, stew, stew, or, or curry. And what's this? Curry, curry, stew? Curry. Just curry? Yeah. Nice. And what, what, what this will go good with? Cassava. I'm um, going cassava. And what idea will go good? Go good with? Dashinia, cassava. So every wild meat have a provision? No, it, or any provision you want to go to. But for you, cassava. I, cassava. You know, it's a no yam Yeah, but cassava prefers you. All right. So, when is the preparation for the tattoo? So we're now going to put this in the pot. The tattoo is the one with the kind of skin on the back of it. Shell. The, the shell thing? Yeah. You just leave the shell on? Yeah. 
You can just show the camera a piece of it so they know. So you can eat the, the shell or the no, shell is like the bone? Shell. Like the bone like. Oh. But like the sweetness of it. If you eat soft the shell on it, you can eat the tattoo. Come like eat a piece of chicken. chicken. Yeah. Nice. So how you go about catching a tattoo? A tattoo is a night animal, right? So the other hair dogs, them live in hole. Mm. They come out to the United Field. Yeah. This is a pretty short animal, but they can run really fast. So they're oh. a good dog. They go pen them in a hole, they gotta dig a hole. Sometimes they take a small hole, sometimes they take a big deep hole, they dig for hours. A whole day to dig that to get one tattoo. Wait, wait. So you don't want to be digging? You, when they, when they bark the hole, you have to start to dig. Oh. And them digging while they're inside so, the hole too. Oh, let's go in the bush and shovel and thing? No, we have a little speed. Oh, let me think you just cut a oh, handle and put and it inside. Oh, yeah. right, 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 right. And you dig it. And I always go about getting this. Yeah. So this one is one of the harder animal too. Nice. So it 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 harder than the guti. Yeah, but guti dogs go run and they go penetrate my gate and a tree. How about the deer? Hold it down. The deer, well, you yeah, have to have a, a good gun man with you too. So I'm right. always a license for him. So I hope I hope so enough bullet. So he can shoot a deer for you. You're looking a little shake, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you yeah. is a is a gun man in the bush? It's gun man. Let me show you this. Oh, yes, huh? Oh, yes, you're your thing. Well, you're looking good, eh? Well, well show me how you're You're looking good, eh? Hey, God hey. man and she wild meat. <laughs> God man and the wild meat. Nice. Welcome to Massa Dog Farm. And Lime if we have a little bit, we'll be serving barbecue dog shortly. Um, roast Marlin. Well, you know, Massa is the dog man, so you know, gonna, I'm going to chunk the dog, right? I can't let you on a secret camera, man. I gotta kill you. <laughs> Anyhow, apart from that, we do some there, yeah, some tattoo, some booty. And I'm sure I hear a man say some spider, you see? Yeah, ants. Ants? Ants. Not ants, it's that though. Not ants. Ants, right. <laughs> Well, I don't know if we grind up that, how we do that, right? <laughs> you know, everybody, they say, what? We just say curry duck in Canada. This man, they say duck curry. Duck curry. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he actually went master's duck farm from inception. So nice. here we go. So this was special blend of curry that I cannot secretly put it together there. Mm. You understand? It's just raw curry. Yeah? Raw curry. So what you want from this? You want a real smooth texture out of this. Ah, boy. You want a smooth you get you get feel and sense the, the, the seasoning, the essence. This is like how Aji the, used to cook. You understand me? The Aji and that is the, the Aji is the, the grandmother. Correct, so correct. Nice, you see. Right, like. This is chunking curry. You call that chunking curry. Chunking curry. Right. I hear yeah. Ravi be singing about it already, you know. Sure. Yeah. You call that chunking curry now, man. Uh, chunking curry. Chunking curry. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> you understand? So, you see the curry bubbling here? You want this curry actually cooked and get smooth. Nice. When I take it out for the spoon, so it must be running like oil. So, you don't want to see like the eel? No, you don't want to grain. That's nice. what is giving the burning stomach, have that bitter aftertaste and stuff like that. Yeah. Right. So, you know, it's not only a duck farmer. I could cook it. You can cook the duck. If That's the important thing, thing eh? Yeah. Once you eat, like if you're, if you're rain ducks, right. you must know how to cook, cook the duck. The duck. You had to curry the dog. You had to love the dog. You had to hug up the dog. Nah, don't hug up the dog. <laughs> you know, here on Master's Dog Farm, we have all kind of animals. All kind of animals. All kind of animals. So tell me a little bit about the, the other meats that you sell. Alright, so we have everything on Master's Dog Farm except pork and beef. Mm -hmm. Where you get wild dog. Because we actually, since I hunted, we started selling um, wild meat. So quenk fall on our wild meat. So we have wild hog on the farm. And this is what we decided to do was actually expand the event because it came about because everybody say you know the wild meat is very Yeah. But you know all them chenna that them men running long Spanish woman. We you know, that, eh? I have no comment. You have no comment on I that? like three of them number. Uh, you see, <laughs> this is one. <laughs> so we wanted them to actually taste what Master's wild meat is about. Right. And what is 
the quality of ducks that we actually growing here on the duck farm. So we wanted to actually promote the quality of ducks that we sell to customers. So once something season is open, you all, you all sell wild meat? Yeah, only in open season, nothing on closed season. Right, so right. hunting season is from when to when? Hunting season is from beginning of October to end of February. Nice, so and from one month after that, end of March to sell all the rest yeah, of things. Yeah, nice, yeah, yeah. because when I am master's dog farmer, I was like, we going and just get dog boy, like wild dog. And I told you that's how your dog running around now. Yes, we do. Oh. Adam is the man who will probably give you a little more insight into that. Mm -hmm. How we grow our dogs here like local dogs. Nice. That is why we took the challenge to actually cook the different wild meat and cook the dog to serve the customers, to show people what it is. What is the sense? You're paying for a duck and you're eating, for, you're eating a white chicken. That makes sense? That no, is madness. You'll pay a hundred for a duck and when you don't cook it and mash up in the pot. So like this white is chicken. Firm, firm duck. Strong duck. Like your grandmother used to mine in the backyard? Yeah. Uh, it's not, it's close, it's real, real close. Is that the same thing? Almost. Oh, all right, but we will go with that. You'll we will take that. that. And how long has Master Duck been um, open? Master Duck in existence, a little over 15 years. 15? Yeah. That's how long we in existence. So when you started, you were just selling ducks only? Or? Yeah, we used to only wholesale. Oh. And then people started coming by the gate and they wanted a duck to buy, a duck to buy, a duck to buy, a duck. You say, no, we retail the duck to the public as well. So then you went to selling ducks retail? Yeah. And then you was like, boy, you know what look good here? No, they were chicken, so we started oh. chicken. All right, so you hit them at chicken? Then they were home for the whole fowl? Home fowl. Oh, oh, yard fowl? Yard fowl. So you hit them the yard fowl? Mm -hmm. And then, we was already into seafood, so we incorporate everything in one. And I will ask him. Yeah. Yeah, but general started yeah, the efficient thing. Yeah. Nice. So we get all of that. Mm -hmm. How you end up now with the wild meat? Well, I was hunting just a little before all this. Right. So I saw it fit. You know, we're in the forest already, and we have a little extra wild meat, so we sell to the public. Nice. And that's how we started, and we started associating with other hunters and other people and other people till it grows to be what it is today. Nice. So, so when you when you started, people was like kind of if you about buying wild meat. Yeah, I mean, just to tell you all kind of thing. When we here at Masters throw that challenge, we know that look, the public makes you what you are. You enter right. television. Nice. So if you cannot do or please the public in the right way, do the right thing, mm. or be straightforward, then you can reach nowhere, right? Facts. Right. So once you're doing the right thing, believe you me, God will open doors for you. So you treat your customers every year. This is like a treat then. Well, yeah, this every year. Plus, during the year, we always cooking on the farm. We always busting our pot. Customers come to curry duck, river fish. You understand? Wild meat. All true. This is not yeah, just a hype up. No, this is a normal thing on Masters of Farm. Oh, just this, just big, bigger to the So you could come here on a Sunday trying to buy a little meat and. You might get something to eat. You might get a plate. Yeah. We well, want better than that, but Masters. What's your I can, I can, I can, I can get it. Try anything? Yeah, Don't spoil my pot on the way. No, 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 my, uh, hand, my hand sweet, but when I hold my well cooking. True, we can cook, but what you holding that like you can't cook. You was not going for a... Ramen noodle soup. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Boiled egg. Boiled egg. Coffee. You need to spend a, he need to spend a little time on my son's dog farm. <laughs> you understand me? Hello, what's your name? What's it? It's, you, it's a special technique, you know? You can't cook to save your life. You seen it? Don't you're like, why you're you're, you're yeah. rolling away, so to. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Yeah. 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 Tell me about it. Don't hold me back. Hitman. That's what I call you. Hitman. Yeah, watch, 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 watch. You understand? Yeah, right. That's the man who sings fire water. Bring me fire water. Oh, right. Where the punch is there? Where the punch is there? Watch it over here. Watch it over here. So, this is the barbecue band. Even when we're not on the farm, right? Anytime Master's feel it, eat barbecue, you buy this. That's the man. What's his name? Nothing. The barbecue boss. The barbecue boss. So this Wednesday gone, we actually did a second round of tasting, making sure we get it right. So when you come now, right. you know you're going to find all the faults yeah, in it, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's why we brought in now and about to make sure to that make sure everything good, good because I'm not on that end. And you're going to love this. I think I'll be up. Of course. I come here hungry. And you see that guy there? 
Anything is tastes good with pepper. Where you from? Not China? Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. 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 Barbecue dog. Where are they? I'm just saying here, because, yeah, I'm just saying here, because it's a new experience. Mm -hmm. I go by though. Alright. I go by. Give this man a hundred, let's play there for me. Yeah, so came in good season, like marinate overnight, 24 right. hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come back and yeah, steam them for at least half an hour to 45 minutes. It depends on the size of duck you're using. Right. right? And after you put them on the pit? Like chicken? Yeah, I just have chicken. We're giving away the secret. Nah, we're giving away the secret. We're joking, we're joking. We don't steam it for 45 minutes. We nah, steam man, it for 10 exactly. minutes. We're giving away the secret. No, we don't steam it for 10 minutes. We no. soak it in like 5 minutes of the seasoning. Yeah, Are you just... Let me have the touch. Okay. Being the yeah, the Marlin, yeah. Why, why are you wrapping it up in that dough? Well, daddy, I'm um, fig leaf yeah. inside. What's that? You see the sauces? You, you see the sauces? Wait, what is it? What is it like? But are we? Mm. 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 Grab this. I got two plates. Seasoning work. I don't know. I hear this in a What season are they using, man? Mm. Normal shadow belly. Come Dan. on. Dan. I want to tell him the, the whole recipe now, boy. Yeah, I can cancel out everything. Toko, man. Look at this. Look at this. Bro, I want to be on the beach. See that? I feel like just seeing fig leaf and fish and doing all kind of thing, you know. Good. Mm. You looking real excited. I mean, you don't go and line up now. You take a last. You work it though. Hey. How's the barbecue done? And the pepper decide. I, I find it wasn't yeah, stiff at all. You, yeah, you, you yeah, just falling off the boy. Boy, that is not enough. Watch that. Clean. Clean. Oh gosh. <laughs> if you get them dog, them board now, they don't want it. It's clean. <laughs> so as you can see, the line is still there. It, it's not much people, but it's plenty of people from last year. It's a growing event. It's a yearly event. So make sure you're here next year at Masters Duck Farm. Okay? Right here in Freeport. Free food, boy. Well, make sure I buy a little duck or a little chicken. Don't come and. Feel as a, a thing and you're eating people and them thing free. Come and buy something and then join the line. Right? Nice. Somebody in the corner they say roti. Oh god, somebody say that I like that. I'm not sure where is this here though. Huh? Right here. Right there? Right here. Alright. And this one is cheap. Uh, what? Cheap. <laughs> <laughs> right nice. But that way I want to make sure you see the curry. This is this is tattoo. They say when they eat any tattoo, you have to suck the bone. Get it? Mm. You see the bone is be sweet. And not sweet. Curry. You want me so? I mean, you now? <laughs> hey. Oh my god, you can. Idea, 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 I idea, what is this here? Tattoo. Mm. Yeah, cheap, cheap, cheap here. It's cheap. Idea. So I tried that as well. Yeah. Just love it. I only really love it. Sampling, I am renaming it festival because it's a jamishness. Watch me, back, 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 back. I say, come for, for the day. 
Bop, bop, for the tattoo. To the left, for the... To the right, to the... Right, you see, it's, it's, it's real time. It's just anywhere you go, it's something to eat. As you turn, oh, what fish, hey. Hold that dog, hold that... It's real... <laughs> it's real vibes. You understand? You see, real, it's our real people here, too. Master Dog Farm, we have a lot of specials, a lot of deals. Watch. It's at the Big Lang Festival. You see, she just come here and buy all the Master Dog is the best, see, chef. Master... Need I say more? It's the best. <laughs> we have, they have all kind of things. Let's go on their Facebook at Master Duck Farm and they will have everything. Yes, Eater Food. Make sure to subscribe to us on Instagram at Eater Food TT and on Facebook at Eater Food and on YouTube at Eater Food for more of this. No, not more of me. I mean, like, more of this of Master Duck hunting, more of this kind of vibe, right? So, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and pay attention to everything. Nice? A lot of deeds. My belly full. I'm going back on it. I'm going and get fat again. No, well, fat er. Hey, we going. This is it, boy. Master's not fat. That's right. Yeah, man.